Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a topic called Newton laws of motion. The problem is like this. There is a dog. Its mass is 5 kg. It is standing on a flat board so that he is at a distance of 10 meter from the shore. So there is a dog. It is standing on a board. Assume this is the board. This is the dog. It is standing on that in such a way that it is at a distance of say this is a shore. Let the dog is there on a board who is floating on the water. From the shore it is at a distance of 10 meter. Now what happened is this dog started walking forward. Dog started walking forward. It has moved a distance of 4 meters. Then what is the new distance between the dog and the shore? That's the question. So, for you, it, in a simple way, it appears like the total distance is 10 meters, the dog has moved 4 meters, so the new distance is 6 meters, but that's not the case. As the dog is moving in a forward direction, to conserve the momentum and the moments, the boat and the dog together moves in a backward direction. Therefore, this entire system simultaneously moves in a backward direction as the dog moves in a forward direction. That has to be taken into consideration. Let us consider it as there is no external force acting in the system. We know that as per the Newton's second law, force is nothing but equal to rate of change of momentum who is equal to zero. So change in the momentum is zero. So the momentum of the system is constant. That means P initially equal to P final. Initially everything is in the state of rest. Finally momentum of the dog plus momentum of the board. But the board alone don't move in a backward direction because dog is also a part of the board. Dog is on the board itself. So both of them will move in a backward direction. So momentum of the dog and board has to be taken into account. Taking this into consideration, if I simplify the equation further, momentum of the dog is equal to minus momentum of the dog plus board or board. That is mass of the dog into velocity of the dog is minus mass of the dog plus mass of the board and they together will be moving with a velocity board. So I can write mass of the dog. Velocity of the dog is distance traveled by the dog in a given time minus mass of the dog mass of the boat distance traveled by the boat in a backward direction in the same time. The time can be anyway cancelled. So mass of the dog is given for you in the problem as 5 kilogram. Distance traveled by the dog is nothing but equal to 4 meters in the problem. Mass of the dog is 5. That is uh, mass of the boat is 20. Distance that it is moving backward is x. So 20 equal to minus 25 into x. That implies the boat and dog together moves a distance of minus 20 by 25 minus 4 by 5 minus 0 0.8 meter in a backward direction. So the new status is as the dog moves forward by 4 meters dog and the board or boat 
moves backward by 0 0.8 meter so the dog has moved an effective distance of the effective distance of the dog that it has moved is 4 minus 0 0.8 that's nothing but equal to 3.2 meter the dog has effectively moved only a distance of 3.2 meter that implies from the shore it is at a distance of total distance 10 but it has moved effective distance of 3.2 forward right so it is going to be 6.8 meter so it is at a distance of 6.8 meter that's it thank you for watching